Alright, what is up you guys? And of course always welcome back to the Wi-Fi Bell. This time I'm actually going to have hard are you no matter what, no matter what they throw at me and we'll take it from there. The idea here is to use Octillery, which is a Pokemon I reluctantly actually decided to use. <laughs> but it might actually not be all that bad. But it doesn't look that promising either. Um Alakazam looks really rough. Um I have one merit though with um, with Octillery, and that is that it actually deals somewhat well with every matchup here. It can hit everything for super effective damage besides a Buffalo and and do. Uh, he only has a Defogger with them um, with uh, the Corviknight, um, and uh, my Belossum looks and doesn't look to be doing all that well at all. Um, hmm. I should lead off with, I think I do the easy play, and uh, lead off with Water. Um, no, because he's gonna lead off with... Uh, yeah, that's the thing, is that if he leads off with something, it's probably gonna be um, the Cinderace. So if that comes to fruition, I just send in my... Um, that That's a picture though. <laughs> uh, I'll just send in my... Um, Colossal and try to you know, do something from there. High jump kick will absolutely destroy me, but I can easily take it. Let's see, leads off with extra riddle, which is good. There is nothing extra riddle can do besides. Um, let's see, it's Mole Breaker, so Earthquake will absolutely sting. That's unfortunate. So it's still enabling. Um, he could have Sword Stats, I believe, but that's about it. I would hate to do like decent damage, I'll just go for easy strength sap. Rock Tomb actually. Excuse me if I'm a bit surprised about that play. Father Earthquake was kind of a safe play to go at. Um, but the way I see it, there's nothing he can do versus this. So my play here is to bring back Rota. <laughs> because I do believe um, Corviknight comes in. And I can easily bring his Buffalo. Sap Zipper, most likely. Right? That makes sense. So... Do the Bug Bus here, see if he wants to um, rustle or not. Head Charge would absolutely do like a lot of damage. Uh, he decides to switch out, alright? He did not want to get that ship. Back to Excadrill. Now we see Rock Tomb, which is not all that bad. Um, my best guess is like he's he's thinking about spinning. Bug Buzz does. Alright. I mean it's not my the hardest hit I ever made, but I can easily again bring an Able in. And um I want him like badly to earthquake, but I guess that's not necessarily his play. Um Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's right. I can do that play too. Thing is, though, versus Bufflin, like that's a Pokemon that is absolutely chunky. So I want to try to see if I can break it. So I'm just gonna go for Moonblast. I think his best play is actually bringing it in again, and Moonblast should at least do something. <sighs> because my Bufflin is reckless, I absolutely the way sense is in. I feel it should must or it must be. Uh, it must be Zap Super. There's no way of me actually scouting it, which is super frustrating. But um, yeah, this is my neutral place, isn't it? But he gets absolutely destroyed by earthquake. Not a big fan of those moves. Like head charge will do a whole lot of me. He could carry Mega Horn. Yeah, that's the thing. Though, like, what could he do to me? I think Mega Horn makes the most sense. So at least that resisted it. And Head Charge will absolutely like eat me, and I'm clearly aware of that. Let's see, his play is Mega Horn. Cool. It's resisted though. To be like a sham for being a crit. Um let's see, his Pokemons are. Yeah, I mean I'll lose nothing by going for a dynamic punch, so that's the play. If you want to lose his Bufflin, that's how you lose it. 
Right, switches out, goes to Corviknight. Yeah. I actually don't have speed Corviknight, I believe. But this dynamic punch will absolutely say, make him second guess himself a little bit. That's nice. Leftovers. So if he by some chance hits himself with confusion, I get a pretty, pretty smart opening. Right, I believe him to actually go for a U-turn, actually, or a Braybird. Look at that, that's a shiny Colossal, I always wondered what that one looked. Right, hits himself, so I had an opportunity there to actually do something good. Um, now, do I want to set up my own rocks, or do I want to hurt him? I'm setting up my own rocks. Basically, I have every mon that should have. Um, yeah, he did go seismic, so that's an absolute mad lad. <sighs> the way I see it, like we can easily have both rocks on each other's side, and he can dictate with his Corviknight when he wants to um, not have that on his side. Now, there is nothing I can do here besides sending in. Actually, Evelyn does kind of alright, doesn't she? But. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Like this guy, Evelyn forces it out, which is great. Let's do that. Let's see what it wants to do. Toxic. Alright, so that's unfortunate. Did not predict that necessarily. Also realize that I actually moved my mic. I really hope you guys heard me all right. I'll move it here. We'll see if it makes a difference. If it's a lot higher, I'm sorry. Um, that actually sucked a little bit. But my play here is actually bringing in guys and force it out again. I'm absolutely believing he's going to go to his uh, sap zipper buffalant again. And uh, now he has a um, jump in front of him. And he has to make a call. And that said, I don't know whether or not I would speed. I have some speed investment, but I'm naturally slower than Buffalo in the least. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I need sticky web up though. We do have speed. Nice. Buffalo is out. And that also means that. That actually means that potentially I can either. I can, I can strength sap at least versus things, which is nice. But hey, having my. Blossom Toxic is absolutely unfortunate. <sighs> like a Sam though. Like, do I need this Pokemon? Not really. I do appreciate busting its sash. For sure. That's cool. There's a Psychic, nothing to it. It's gonna knock out my poor, poor Mjomp, but... No. Performance-wise, I'm actually kind of happy. So I'm not in doubt, speeds it? The Rotor should absolutely kind of threaten it. A little bit at least. He could sack play it, I mean, he's lost his sash. He could be Life Orb, I guess, but uh, yeah, it's a real easy play. Easy play. Oh, we got the special defense decrease, which is incredible. But still, Evelyn. Now he's clearly faster, so the way I'm like leveling back and forth with is do a combination of two iron heads knock me out? Probably. He's next real after all. Goes for rapid spins, yeah. That's probably something that's kinda Ken was thinking about. It's alright. It sucks, but it's alright. 
Um, my core knight should be his play. And while I do want to boost in front of it, uh, the only player I really can do is strength sap. Hope I can survive an iron hit. He just decides to switch out, which makes a ton of sense to the Corvey Knight. Which should U turn, by the way. But, uh, oh yeah, mirror armor. I lose my attack. But do I get recovery? Oh yes, I do. Oh yes, I do. That's kind of cool, actually. I, I can get that with that. Um, uh, still, though. Like I said, his play should be U-turn. So let's see if we can get catch that flame body. Because if we can get the flame body on Colvinite, then it's probably useless. Let's see what he decides to do. Or it could roost. Our defense. So that's alright, I guess. You no, know, he clearly has body press if that's the case, so we, we need to unfortunately start attacking him. But he can still catch, like I said here, the flame body, which is kind of nice. I could rapid spin and try to boost myself through this, but you know, we'll see what happens. Ooh, plenty. Catch this burn though. So if I were him, I'd probably be roost. So I spin here. Keeps body pressing. Okay, mad lad. So that means he keeps the rocks. But I can send in my Vicar Vault and uh, thread him with a Thunderbolt. Or I can send in my Sex Toy. No, they get old. I'm just gonna go for bug bus because quite frankly, um, if he somehow, like he should be faster no matter what, but I think he U-turns out of this, or he U-turns, or I mean uh, roost. If I were him, I'd probably like hard switch and something. Oh, he brave birds. He wants the damage and he'll get it for sure. Um, bit surprised actually he sack play that. Because I clearly aren't. I'll roost here. I don't know if I want to try to kill himself or not. But the combination on Brave Bird and on... Yeah, yeah, which rolls exactly. Like, there is nothing here for him. <sighs> Back to drill. And I am back to full. Now, we are in one of these situations where, unless I get stick web up, I'm kind of screwed anyway. And I do believe Cinderace eats me anyway. And I think he realizes that too. But I really want the damage in there. And I don't want to stick web up knowing that I don't outspeed certain individual Pokemons. But uh, I like a sound looks to be a champ here together with Cinderace. We'll see what happens. There's the earthquake, we're gonna absolutely soak that. And he's switching out, should be Corviknight again. Like this is one of those back and forth where we get nowhere. So with that in mind, I still want to get to that position. So Corviknight is back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm actually going to web up this time and see which exchange I'll get out of uh, because I think x comes in no matter what and against x I can bug bus versus it freely he decides to hard switch again and um, back to x makes sense because um, I really wish I had a ghost right now like a ghost I would just parry his rapid spin and that would have been Nice, but uh, we do the bug bus play. He's going to spin, and 
like the only merit I have here is that I have him in a situation where I think I should kill him. So next time I will absolutely kill him. He should earthquake though. Or rock tooth. Yeah, we we'll try to kill him instead. We'll take it. See if we can get some play right here. Versus Corviknight, like I basically need an opening of of a value. But right now it doesn't look that good. Like I feel Cinderace comes in and I do believe like basically it's a wrap from there. But I do have uh, my um, pretty pretty cool um <laughs> Like I'm, I'm clearly not feeling super confident here. But uh, one thing I can do is send an Aveline sack in it and then bring in my um, artillery and just hope to get something in there. Right? It doesn't need to be like the most ideal play in the world. You just need to be something something fun. Oof. Such a stud. What a what an incredible hit from Cinderace. Because the f moves Cinderace has are powerful. Usually high jump kick, which is stab boosted. Um so I can hopefully get a burn, maybe? Like, I'll take anything right now. He actually decides to switch out. That's actually kind of unfortunate. Go to Seismitoad. All right, buddy. I think jokes is on you, actually. <laughs> Suck on this. All right, so Toxic Me is okay. Um, I probably should have hard switch into my um No what it doesn't matter. Right now I'm just happy if I get the kill. Mmm <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's why we do this. I believe either Cinderace or Alka Sam actually just wins this game and there's nothing to it, but I still think I held off alright. Right, it switches Alka Sam. I am a salt vest. I could hope for vest. Energy ball, please soak this. <laughs> Octillery though. Octillery doing it. Oh no. <laughs> Got the burn though. Very sure my bounce, right? God damn it. What a what a scummy thing to have. <laughs> That's all right though. I'm I'm very happy with uh, with how this kind of went, and um... <laughs> oh damn! If only I had like what is that? I think it's called. Um... Should I hope to live a hit? Maybe. It's kind of a stretch. I absolutely don't do it with you. Let's see. What is his remaining mom? Nothing I can't defeat, right? But yeah, like I'm clearly not winning this, and who cares? <laughs> Ooh, so yeah, he had Corviknight left. He had um, we bug busting here. I don't believe we take a psychic. Um, he has Cinderace. He has the Corviknight, and um, clearly I like a Sam. I don't believe I'll take a hit from Alaka Sam. But he is leveling here, so whether. I wanna know what he's thinking. You wanna tell me, buddy? Because I, sh I can tell you right now, I do not take a psychic. I am bulky, but I am also a Vicar Volt. Those two things don't go hand in hand. What is he thinking about? Like, I'm getting nervous here. Why would you reconsider this? Oh, he's locked into that, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool, okay. Still, though, Cinderace comes in and that's it. I 
I want I kind of want to do one thing though I really want to Dynamax and just try to laugh this off but because I do believe like Powerball you know bops me nothing to it <laughs> poor guy because high jump kick is absolutely killing me nah I shouldn't Dynamax I, like I want to do it just because I have only like few seconds left he clearly got the win no matter what oh fuck it we'll do it if not, it is just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> but like I said, he won this game. I just want to see if I can get something nice out of this. Or is he like stalling the timer, not wanting to... That could actually be the thing, now that I think of it. Is that what he's doing? Why would he? Why would he be scared of this situation? I do believe a high jump kick absolutely obliterates me. He's stalling the timer. That, I, I'll I'll say it. That's a little bitchy, actually. Why would you do that? Then I call him my Dynamax Justified. Why would you do that? Ah oh, man, I wanted actually to have a, have myself KO'd. <laughs> We're still gonna have one more play, no matter what. So we'll see what happens. I lost you. Ah, oh, poor. Really. That's such an anti-climax, why would he do that? With that in mind, I should have just roosted and won the game myself. No, I don't want that Lee card. What a what an absolute scum. That that actually had me mad. <sighs> like, I would have lost anyway, but at least wrap the game up. Don't be Don't be that guy, right? Uh, but anyway guys, I hope you really enjoyed this game. Sorry for the last part. Clearly my opponent James here. Does not necessarily have the, um, the feeling for a proper Wi Fi battle. So, you know, that's his fault. I'll take that as a forfeit, actually. And uh, I'll leave this with a win, even though I clearly lost out of timer. That's why we need those 60 minutes, isn't it? I clearly would have lost anyway. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching and have a great day, everyone.